Hey, what's up guys? It's Navarro, head trader, PSC13.com, Penny Stocks Club 13. It's Friday, November 13th, 2020. I hope everybody had a green day. It was an amazing day, guys. Almost everything. There were so many options going on. We just had a very successful day, a very successful week at PSC13 chat room, guys. Go ahead and check it out, www.psc13.com, guys. We have a free watch list for you. Just click on weekly watch list once you're in there. And if you like those trade ideas, there's suggestions, there's not recommendations, you trade at your own risk, but go ahead and use them, guys. They're there for, for you all to uh, have something to, you know, trade based upon some planning. So hopefully you all have a, a chance to check it out and hopefully you all are successful in, in uh, implementing a successful trade idea, a successful trade plan and executing it to the key, to the T. So let's get right to it, guys. Swing trades from, from yesterday. If you watched yesterday's video, we're holding CBAT, UAVS, SOLO, and AYRO. All four profits. So we killed it today, guys. It was just an amazing way to end the week on a very, very strong note. So let's get right to it, guys. CBAT entered yesterday at 396. I got out today for a 47% return, but let me take you to the one day, three minute to give you a better idea. So we entered yesterday here at, at uh, 397, I believe. I got out pre-market at 582, 47% return, and I did not care what it was gonna do afterwards. I It exceeded my expectations. I took profits because I had them, and I didn't even wait for the open because all I knew, maybe at the open it was just gonna tank. Now, yes, it did make a bigger move, but I don't care about that. I care about locking in my profits, growing my account, and that is it. So what would have happened maybe if I did not take profits here on this grid candle? Well, let's zoom in. So here's where I took profits. And from here, from 582 all the way down to 520, guys, that's a 10% that, 10 that I would have given back. And maybe this would have shaken me out because it looks like a pretty strong downtrend during pre-market nonetheless but still i don't like that and i had profit so why am i going to be risking or getting greedy and wanting more 47 percent? are you kidding me that's a home run trade that's a home run swing trade you get 10 percent. you got your base hits you got 20 percent. that's your double you got 30 percent. that's your triple you got 40 percent. that's your home run you get 50 percent plus that's your grand slam trade guys i got a home run out of this I locked in profits. I didn't care where it was going to go afterwards. I'm not greedy. I need to lock in profits. I'm here to grow my account, not to show off to you guys that I locked in 80%, 90%, 100%. I really don't care about that. I only care about making my accounts grow, you know, helping people along the way. So I can't be greedy. I know where I started. I know how much I struggled. And I know how many times... I've done the same thing where, no, it's going to go higher. It's going to go higher. So I'm not going to lock in profits. I want more money. And my greed got the best of me when I started. And this is how I learned. I did learn the hard way, guys. I learned the hard way. But now I am more disciplined. I am just at that level where if I have 10%, I'm more than likely going to take some profits off, maybe leave some writing. But I know I locked in profits and now my account is going to be safe. So, lesson learned, and thank goodness because it has helped me grow my accounts because of that discipline. So CBAT, guys, this is a, a very successful swing trade. The other one that was very successful was Solo, and this one was a three-day hold on one of my accounts. Uh, we entered here for the break of this little flag pattern at 375, guys. Then we took profits yesterday. Again, uh, I took profits. We shrunk, uh, took profits at 425. Let me take it the one day, three minute. So yesterday we took profits at 425. We got back in at 425. Uh, I took profits on my big account at, at 499. And then I held it on my other account and I took profits today at 599. And then, yes, I left a lot on the table. Again, I don't care. I It exceeded my expectations. This is just, you know, a little bit more left a little bit for other people again i was in it from 375 to profits there that's about a 60 percent return guys i mean i can't be greedy 
fine other people maybe traded it better and that's awesome and you know what and they did and one of the people in my group they did so a shout out to Pierre he held it all the way to 682 and wow wow what a way to hold Pierre congratulations man I'm so happy for you I love I love it when members in the group they just out trade me that's awesome guys I love it I love it I am not envious I am not greedy I love people succeeding it makes me even happier than when I succeed so for me that that's what it's all about helping people out and knowing that they're growing and that they're learning and that they're becoming so sufficient that is it guys that's what it's all about and that that's what really touches me that what that's what moves me that's that's what drives me so pierre great job man um next one ayro guys another swing trade let's check the daily first so uh remember yesterday i told you we got in at 340 and let's see what happened today i had a profit target at four but let's see what happened during the day so we got in yesterday at 340 here um that's where it bounced that's where it bounced pre-market and yesterday remember i took some off at 355 if you go and check the video again i hate to be repetitive but check the video guys because this is not me making stuff up this is really what happened and you know i was waiting for it to make its move all the way up to four let me zoom in here so here is the morning and you know i was waiting for it to just continue all the way up to four it did not go as planned in the morning i took my final take at 350 for a total of about a four percent return still a winner for me well uh, some of the members they hold through all of this you can see that it bounced right at 340 where my entry was so you know i just didn't feel like doing that i just had to lock in profits there was so many other stocks moving around like i told you cbat solo uavs and this one and then we had other stocks just going crazy especially solo solo was just off the charts so uh in any matter uh they held through this and they were asking me is four still the target and i was i was telling them yes but i was also telling them but you gotta make sure that you lock in profits because i see a lot of topping tails let's zoom in here so you can see all these three minute topping tails here you can see this little wicks these are called topping tails where you get that resistance where shorts are coming in or there's just profit taking so i didn't feel like it was gonna go and it didn't at least not till the afternoon so i told them to take profits they did and then all of a sudden in the afternoon it makes its way all, all the way up to four even a little bit higher but again, there's no way we can predict that. So you got to lock in profits when you have them. Because for all we know, this could have just been a crash and it just completely ju just flushed. So AYRO, another successful swing trade, guys. And it was awesome. UABS was another swing trade that we had from yesterday. If you all remember, we entered here on this little cup and handle at 260 for the break of that cup and handle. It held that support at 260. It opened up way higher and we did not take profits here remember our profit target was three so we let this roll we we're still profitable remember our entry was down here at 360 so even if we would have taken profits somewhere here if we would have broken down below this level then uh we would still be successful of not not as profitable but still successful so we just let this one ride um it tested this 295 level close to the pre-market high and it just didn't quite get there to three till after market i did take some profits at 292 it made that big move to three i was holding just a small position i wasn't trading after a market i had a 25 percent position left only which is not a big big position so you know i'm swinging that small percentage till monday and if on monday i have to just cut it then i'll cut it if it gives me an opportunity to trade it or sell it over three then i will in any case i locked in significant profits that i don't think that 25 percent will affect my my percentage gain on uabs guys so that was another successful swing trade that was 444 on swing trades guys with every single swing trade we just knocked locked in profits the other one kos this is not a uh one that we or, or this is our current position one that we're seeing trading for monday and you can see here that little flag pattern this is the pattern that we we're playing the breakout 
125 entry we entered at 125 it's currently right below 129 which is the pattern side we're looking for a move to one between 140 to 160 and we'll be locking profits along the way if it gives us an opportunity on monday we'll see how it opens but for now it looks like it's uh you know this little pattern is kind of working so we'll see what happens guys that is it that is all i have i'll do a watch list for monday i'll do a video watch list for monday on sunday if that makes any sense guys so we'll do some sunday stock prep for next week and we'll see you soon guys that is it for me we'll catch you in the next one